Today, we will show you how to install the Mobox emulator on an Android phone and turn your device into a portable computer. Mobox is a PC emulator that allows you to run Windows applications and games on your Android phone without rooting. It brings the seamless experience of a PC operating system to your mobile device. Let's turn our phones into computers. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. Before we begin, please check the system requirements to ensure your device can run the software. Make sure you have Android 10 or above. If your phone has a Snapdragon 655 or higher, such as the 888, 7, or 8 series, however, Mali and other chipsets are also supported. You'll need at least 3 GB of RAM, with 8 to 12 GB recommended, and 4 to 5 GB of available storage space on your device for the system files. Now let's move on to the installation process. First, head over to the Box Vidra GitHub page. The link is provided in the description. On the download page, scroll down to the installation section, where you'll find three apps, Termux, Termux X11, and Input Bridge. These are essential for installing and running Box Vidra on your Android device. Download these apps one by one. Once downloaded, install them sequentially. If this is your first time installing apps from outside the Play Store, you may need to allow installation from unknown sources. Now, as you can see, I've successfully installed Termux, Termux X11, and Input Bridge. At first, we will configure the graphics settings via Termux X11. From the home screen, long press on the Termux X11 app and select Preferences. Open out up settings. Under Display Settings, change the resolution mode from Native to Exact and adjust the resolution as per your preference. A higher resolution will slow down performance, while a lower one will speed things up. I prefer using 1280 by 720 for balance. Also, enable Stretch to Fit and Full Screen Mode. Next, launch the Termux app and grant the necessary permissions for notification. We need to execute a command to start the installation. Go back to the GitHub page, copy the command, and return to Termux. Long press in Termux to paste the command, then press Enter. Termux will start installing the necessary packages, which usually takes 5 to 10 minutes. After a short while, you'll see a pop-up saying you're about to add the Box Vidra emulator. Tap OK and wait for the setup to finish, which may take another 5 to 10 minutes. Now we go back to the Termux app. It's still installing, so keep the app open and wait until you can start typing Mobox. Once you enter the command Mobox, it will begin installing Mobox in Termux. This step may take two to five minutes, depending on your internet speed and device specs. We are now in the Mobox interface, where you'll find options to manage packages in various settings. Head to the start of Wine and hit Enter on your keyboard. It will immediately begin booting. The first boot typically takes around two to five minutes to set up drivers. Finally, we're in the Mobox emulator interface, and you can see the Windows system loaded on my phone. From the Start menu, choose the driver that matches your device compatibility. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Join our Discord server if you need any help. See you in the next video. Take care.